So we are back, episode 4, The Survivors. Uh, should be the last episode for this series. Let's uh, see how it goes. Tell us, Doctor, what's out there? What did this to him? Tro... they're called Trodon Pectinodon. They were meant to be euthanized, but... What? You let them out? No, no! I kept them in quarantine for study. They... I thought they may have been leaving the pen somehow, but I wasn't certain. We knew about those damn creatures all along. While we were out there, exposed, humping around like idiots looking for our pilot... Billy, wait! We were nearly killed by one of our own men. Probably bitten by one of those things, just like Decaf. Who knows where his catatonic body is now? Both our teams are dead. Oscar's dead! All because of your dinosaurs, all because of you! Okay. I don't remember those dinosaurs. Billy, kind of. listen, I get it. You're angry, but we need Laura alive. She's the only one here familiar with what we're dealing with. And what good does it do us if she keeps that intel to herself? Anyway, this witch is Not alive. Wrong. She's lied to all of us. Put me in the direct line of danger to protect her agenda and her precious freak show. What else is she hiding? Please, if I knew sooner. Ah, I... shut it. Is that what this is all about? She put you in danger? You're acting out of vendetta here? Oh, don't turn this around on me. I'm doing this for Decaf and Vargas. But what is all this? She's a liar. How can you deny that? Yes, she lied to all of us, but she also helped when she could. Nima is alive because of her. She could have warned us! I wasn't entirely sure yet. For all I knew, she could have gotten into the quarantine pens. Oh, so what? I'm the enemy? I'm the bad guy here? I'm just trying to open your eyes! I'm trying to show you the truth and bring someone to account for it! Okay. Just it, Billy. She's not the one responsible. This falls on the shoulders of Hammond and Ingen, and now we're all suffering for it. Still, Billy, let her go. We need every able mind and body we can get. All she has to say is it's my fault. It's my fault. Come on, Doc, let me hear it. No, it wasn't. Say it! What are Billy? It's... it's m my fault. There. It wasn't so difficult, was it? Your friends may have saved you here. At least I got the truth out of you. You want her alive? You've got her. <sighs> you just mark my words. She will save just one of those animals before she lifts a finger to help you. Now, everyone make themselves useful. I've got to tend to decaf. Look, we can't stay here long. Let's just give Billy a minute and see if we can find anything useful. A way out of Pop him. Okay. We'll do a sweep of the room and check in when we're done. Agreed? Okay, so what have we got? Can of gas. Blow the door open. I think they're empty. They're still heavy, though. Huele excremento. Multiple poop gags. I don't see anything. Maybe it's clear. Probably. What have you got? Locked. I'd probably give up then. I don't want to get stuck in a vent with a dinosaur. Besides, there's blood everywhere. Ow! Hot! Is that it? What about this grate? It looks big enough for everyone. And it looks like it's heading in the right direction. Just 
Great. It's locked. Anyone happen to have a key? Where else have we go? Let's talk to Billy. Are you okay? Yeah. Jess, Han, leave him alone. Billy, we should cover decaf. I don't want Jess to see this. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Could I pick this lock? Not that I would know how. I don't want to add breaking an entry onto my dad's list of my criminal tendencies. Dad's ex. Yeah, they're not supposed to be able to lay eggs. And I don't understand. The first one. I thought the dinosaurs couldn't breed. They can't. They're all female. Then how do they lay eggs? Theropods shed eggs just like most other ovip um, egg-laying animals. Think about chickens. The whole egg market is made up of unfertilized eggs, right? Oh, yeah. So they still have to lay them? Oh, my. What is it? You bring up a good point about our dinosaurs ovulating. But these eggs are gathered in a clutch. This is brooding behavior. So, chickens will brood a large enough clutch? But not our dinosaurs. I've found post-ovulatory eggs in the ranges. They're mal-shaped, usually destroyed or kicked into the bush. I see. Wait, it, we can't jump to any conclusions. How could this even be possible? Could a girl dino turn into a boy dino? With Dr. Wu's slapdash approach to gene sequencing, anything could go wrong. Hey. All right. Leave the door alone. We're not going back out that way. Why not? Because we aren't backtracking, and those damn creatures could still be out there. I have Chris. Hey, what have you done? Nemo, what can you remember about that animal that bit you? I didn't see it when it attacked. It went by so fast. It was dark. After it bit me, I became confused, like, like I'd been drugged. I remember there were many of them. They had glowing eyes. Glowing eyes? Yeah. All the like time Ojos de Lobo. Jess, stay away from the vents. No more sneaking off, understand? I'm not going anywhere, Dad. Okay. I hate being trapped on here like a rat. Right, what do I have to say to advance this? Let's try this. This tunnel looks tall enough for everyone. Maybe we should go this way. Jess, stand back from the grate. You don't know what's down there. I'm just trying to help. I know, Jess. I just can't keep my attention on everything at hand, plus you. Sorry to be such a burden. That's right, little bitch. I don't even think about it. Your dad would have a fit. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. This whole world's against us. How did I even do that one? Huh. That's the why. Oh, no. These Trodon. What else can you tell me about them? Well, they're nocturnal. They're intelligent, like raptors, but they don't hunt like them. They envenomate with a single bite, then back off. Stalk their prey. Their teeth are serrated and retain saliva, and the saliva is saturated with the toxin. Nima's bite. It was from a Trodon? Yes, definitely. Okay. Maybe we should get going. 
Where did you plant that duck? Are you sure? Yeah, if you're ready, Billy. Billy, did you find something? No, nothing. Is everyone ready? What about decaf? I took care of that. It How looked like you, you took something off him. And if he has something that will help us... I didn't find anything. I took his dog tags. Insurance doesn't pay out to his family unless his dog tags are returned. Satisfied? Right. Sorry for pushing. Should we bring him with us? Why bother? He's already buried. Look, I know where his body is. We're not equipped to transport it. Hopefully, we can retrieve his remains when this is all over. Uh -huh. All right, listen up. Everything that just happened, bygones, understand? Doc, tell me again about the phones. Um, according to the terminal in my lab, the marine exhibit phones are still connected to the transceiver. The visitor center phones Too are- Too far away, okay? And we can get to the exhibit through the tunnels? They're all interconnected. I think I can still find- The answer is yes. Thank you. All right, we all have the same priorities here now. We get to this marine exhibit and find the phone. We get another chopper in the air to lift us out from there. How are we gonna get there? Trodon could still be out there. We aren't equipped to treat any more bites. We have to shh. I will not be shushed. The door. Oh no. They're coming through the vent! Past the door. Then. Jerry, get that grate open. I'm on it. I need something Big to break team. the lock. We'll do that someday.
to the vent like tunnel. I don't remember these things at all. Exactly the secure location. Which way are we heading, Doc? 